Hi there, it's Michelle Karen from Harmony Way again, and I have fitness classes on Zoom, so we're safe and distanced from each other every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. My yoga is, my gentle yoga and toning is at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and my Zumba class is at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and they're both $5 a piece. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you a couple of stretches that feel really good if you tend to get tight in your legs, your hips, your core, your back. So first thing, we're gonna come down, and you don't have to come down this far, only go down as far as is comfortable for you. I've got my foot on its side or on its toe with a pointed toe, okay? So we're gonna just stretch that out. I'm getting a stretch here, I'm getting a stretch all over, and now I'm gonna flex that toe up toward the ceiling. And now I'm gonna do that on the other side. So these are some of my favorites. They stretch out your legs really beautifully and quickly and efficiently. So same thing, other side. Now, I've got one leg behind and that back heel is down. I'm gonna lean forward first and then I'm gonna squeeze right back here, keeping that back heel down, bending that front knee. And then I'm gonna do that on the other side as well. So I'm gonna get situated, same thing, stretching and squeezing. Now, this one can be done either laying on the ground or this one could also be done standing if you've got good balance or you have an area where you can kind of brace yourself and hold on. First thing is to bring one leg up, move that ankle around, bring it across your chest or your torso and that releases right here in the hip flexor area. Open up that hip flexor as far as is comfortable for you, and then bring it back into a quad stretch. So you can do a quad stretch laying on your side, alternately on the floor, and those exercises that we just did for stretching in the front, those can be done laying on your back. Then we're gonna do that for the other side, so that leg comes up, and then across, and open, and back. Good, and then if you wanna work on your balance a little bit, plant one leg, soften that knee, bring the other leg up with a pointed toe, and bend. This tones that entire leg that's holding your weight, as well as your core. And you could do that for eight or however many you're able to do comfortably. And then we can do that on the other side. Same thing, make sure that knee is softened. We never wanna hyperextend anything. Good. Helps if you exhale on the down. Good, and we can do some dynamic squats. And we'll do chair pose, just basic chair pose. Now chair pose, you wanna have your feet about hip width apart or a little bit wider. So I'm gonna stand to the side so you can see what that looks like. And again, we wanna zip everything up. So we wanna tuck in our bottom and we want to pull our belly button in toward our spine Bend our knees so they're over our toes. So none of this, right? We wanna be buttoned up and my shoulders are relaxed and I'm looking ahead. My feet are flat on the floor and I'm breathing deeply. Good. And then a great one to start or end any practice with when you've been exercising or you're going to exercise or you're doing yoga or you've just done yoga is to get your feet about hip width apart, soften those knees, and then bring those shoulders back and down away from the ears, palms facing forward, and you can close your eyes, make sure those shoulders are nice and relaxed, and those knees are relaxed. We can take a great big deep breath in, all the way into our belly, and exhale from the belly first. <sighs> Squeeze all the air out like you're wringing out a cloth, and just check in with your body. Notice how your body feels, Notice if you're holding tension in any different areas of your body. And if you are, try to consciously relax those areas or to breathe to those areas to help facilitate some nice deep relaxation in those areas. And then you can shake it out and that's it. So that's another brief little exercise that you can do if you just have a few minutes. And these are great if you've just been sitting down, if you are someone who, um, 
you know, isn't able to move around that much. These are some things that can make you feel like you've really gotten some good stretches in. So I recommend trying them if you've got clearance to do so from your doctor. Okay, thanks very much. And maybe we'll see you in one of my classes in the future.